friends and welcome back to another video. So today for blind viewers I am wearing a black tank top with a scrunchie tied up like the front because I'm a fashion icon <laughs> and I'm also wearing a Slytherin jacket which speaking of isn't it really just honestly amazing that Harry Potter was written by Dobby the house elf? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Today we are talking about things you shouldn't say to a disabled person, and that's coming from me, a disabled person. I have many more things that you shouldn't say to a disabled person, so if you want a part two, let me know. In the description, I have linked a whole bunch of disabled YouTubers you should totally go check out because they do topics similar to this, and it's also a really good idea to have different perspectives on disability, so please go check them out if you can, and without further ado, let's get into things you shouldn't say to disabled people. But like, are you sure you can't see? Look, usually when it comes to any disability, actually, yeah, any disability, the phrase, are you sure, is really not helpful unless you're a doctor, okay? Asking somebody if they're sure about their disability is, honestly, doesn't make a lot of sense because it sounds like you're questioning them and you don't want to come off as questioning or harsh when it comes to asking people about their disability. There's a difference between wanting to understand more about their disability and asking them if they're sure that's what they have. Have you tried glasses? Okay, this one. Now I can understand a little bit where it comes from for me because I do sometimes wear glasses and no, it's not for the reason you think. They don't fix me and if you want a video on why I might wear glasses occasionally, let me know. But asking a blind person if they've tried glasses is like asking them to try yoga to fix their vision. It doesn't make sense and trust me, I'm sure if we're to the point where we're walking around with a cane and using a brailer, Doctors and family members and guardians have tried glasses. They don't work. I get that people are trying to be helpful and that's amazing that you want to help, but offer your help in other ways. Like, do you need me to guide you? Do you need help with this? Not, have you tried glasses? Because yes, we have. They probably don't work. So you can see something so you're actually not blind. This one drives me insane. Look, blindness is a spectrum, okay? Say it with me. Nine out of 10 blind people have remaining vision. Nine out of 10 blind people have remaining vision. So nine out of 10 of us can see something, whether that's me and you can see a little bit, not a lot, or you can see light and shadows, you can see shapes, you can see something blurry. All of us mostly can see something and when you ask a person if they can see or tell them that they can see so that doesn't make them really blind is really invalidating to their visual impairment. And it honestly is very frustrating because yes, I can see something, but I'm still blind. I'm still so blind that I ran into a door yesterday and I now have a bruise on my face that I have to hide with makeup. I'm still so blind that I can't drive. So when you question a disability like that, it makes the disabled person feel less than. Yeah, that was a whole rant. <laughs> Ugh, please stop making excuses. This one, I got told this all throughout my elementary and middle school career in PE. Look, I'm not saying I don't want to play dodgeball just because I don't want to. I don't want to play dodgeball because my eyes don't work, okay? And yeah, I also don't want to play dodgeball because that is an inhumane sport that is just not fun. But <laughs> don't ever, ever, ever tell a disabled person they're just making excuses and ask them to stop because nine times out of 10, they want to do the thing that they can't do. And they probably have a way of doing it, but it's just different than the normal way of doing said thing. Like, let's go back to PE. Maybe I couldn't do all the sports in PE, but you know what? There's modified versions of sports for blind people to do, for wheelchair users to do. You know, there's different ways of us going and doing things. And when you tell us that we shouldn't make excuses, it does the same thing as every other thing in this list is done. It invalidates the disabled person and it makes them feel less than in comparison to their able-bodied counterparts, which really 
isn't the message we should be sending. I totally get it. You know, sometimes when I lose my glasses, things are blurry for me too. All right, this one comes with the best of intentions mostly. People, when they try to bond and they realize you're disabled in whatever way you might be, usually try to find a way to connect with you, to compare themselves to you. And I understand that. It's a human nature and urge to want to bond with somebody in the easiest way possible. But that is something that you, you can't bond over. No, you don't get it. You don't understand what it's like to be blind and that is okay. You don't understand what it's like to be in a wheelchair. I don't understand what it's like to be in a wheelchair so I don't compare myself to wheelchair users. That's okay. That's the beauty of making friends that are disabled. You can learn and try to empathize with what it's like, but unless you've been in that situation, you don't get it. And apparently every single thing here has its similar trend. It makes the experience of the disabled person a lot less validating when other people say they understand too. Look, blindness is something I love. I love the fact that I can't see. I have a whole video on the fact that I love my blindness, but there are still difficult things about it. Sometimes it's really frustrating when all your friends go out to do something and you can't go because you can't drive a car and your town doesn't offer Uber. So you're stuck at home while your friends are out doing something and for some reason or another, they can't take you in their car. It's happened, it's irritating and it's awful because you feel left out and it just, it hurts. But that's fine because you learn different ways of dealing with it. But things like that, you don't get unless you lived it. So comparing yourself to a disabled person just sort of, Gibson, you don't know, honey. That's my dog. <laughs> just sort of makes them feel a little less valid when they actually are having a hard day. So maybe instead of saying, oh, I understand because I blank, lead with something like, oh, that sounds difficult. Can you tell me about it? Or, oh, you know, sometimes I deal with this. I know it's not the same, but it kind of helps me understand where you're coming from. All right, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Like I said, please, please, please go check out the YouTubers channels who I have linked below in the description. I would love it. Um, go check out my Twitter, my Instagram, my TikTok, because I do a lot of these types of videos over there, but shorter and with less rambling. <laughs> um, and also my Spotify. I have a public Spotify account now because I love music and I want you guys to come on my music journey with me. So go follow me over there. I will see you all in the next video. I love you all dearly. Have an amazing day and remember that you are loved and you are an amazing person. Goodbye.